With a critical vote just hours away, President Trump overnight praised his Supreme Court pick. And you see what's going on in Congress right now with one of the most respected people, potentially, hopefully, Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. What they're putting him through and his family, his family is incredible. And this morning, the White House has cause for optimism. Two of the key undecided votes seem satisfied with the FBI investigation into allegations of Kavanaugh's sexual misconduct. Senator Susan Collins telling reporters it appears to be a very thorough investigation. And Jeff Flake of Arizona, who demanded the FBI investigate You're after this encounter with two me women. That my assault doesn't matter. That what happened to me doesn't matter. Now, Flake sounding positive after seeing the report. And, uh, I was a yes before right. this, and now we're, uh, we're in the process of reviewing it, uh, but thus far um, we've seen no new credible uh, corroboration, no new corroboration at all. Another key holdout, Senator Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, is still undecided. So is Democrat Joe Manchin. One key senator has announced a decision, Democrat Heidi Heidkamp, who faces a tough re-election battle in the red state of North Dakota. She tells Fargo station WDAY News she's opposing Kavanaugh, even if it costs her her job. If this were a political decision for me, I certainly would be deciding this the other way. You know, there's an old saying, history will judge you, but most importantly, you'll judge yourself. And that's really what I'm saying. I can't get up in the morning and look at the life experience that I've had and say yes to Judge Kavanaugh. On Capitol Hill, the political pressure is tremendous. Protesters making their voices heard. Why aren't you brave enough to talk to us and exchange it with us? Don't you wave your hand at me. I wave my hand at you. When you grow up, when I grow up, we grow up. taking their case directly to senators. While in the basement of the Capitol, senators shuffle in and out of this secure room to review the FBI's report. Behind these doors, just a single copy, 46 pages of summaries from interviews with 10 alleged witnesses. But Democrats are challenging the investigation. The whole thing is a sham. They say the review is incomplete, the scope too narrow with key witnesses left out, including Christine Blasey Ford and Judge Kavanaugh himself. Democrats agreed that the investigation scope should be limited. We did not agree that the White House should tie the FBI's hands. Republicans insist the FBI report was thorough and backs up Judge Kavanaugh's story. So don't tell me you haven't spent enough time also, I feel very good about where this nomination is right now. And now they're ready Enough. to vote. Enough already. Let's vote.